This is assignment four from the Mastercam multi-axis course. We're going to use a combination of rotary index, rotary transform, and axis substitution to apply toolpaths to this part. Gather the exercise files together in one folder. You should have a Mastercam file, a lathe blank STL file, and an STL compare file. Select the tool settings tab. Enter a program number, establish feed calculation from tool or from material, assign tool number sequentially, and use tools step, peck, and coolant. Select the stock tab, click on the file radio button, and navigate to the assignment for lathe.stl file. Check the display box and click OK to see the stock overlaying your part geometry. Reopen the stock tab and uncheck display to make the stock invisible. You can create your own STL file by drawing the part geometry using either surfaces or solids and then selecting file save as .stl. Open the level manager and create a new level for the axis substitution geometry. Select transform roll, set your chaining method to 3D and chain the top of the slot around the cylinder. Set your parameters to copy, unroll about the x-axis, clockwise direction, the cylinder diameter is 2 inches, positioning should be minus 90 degrees. Click OK and unshade your geometry to see the flat pattern. This part requires four construction planes, top, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and 135 degrees. Add toolpaths as shown. Use transform rotate to copy toolpaths to the other sides of the part and apply an A-axis substitution toolpath to the slot on the cylinder. Verify the part and use STL compare to compare the machined model to the customer supplied model. For a detailed demonstration of how to make this part, navigate to the Assignment 4 video in the subscription area of the website.